Oh friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today in the series of Factory IO tutorial, we have came back with a very interesting mini series that is all kind of possible examples with this tank. Okay. So here you can see there are the five tanks and by using tanks we can do five different kind of projects in the Factory IO. So let me show you what are these five kind of projects that we can do in the factory IO and I am going to show you in this mini series of this factory IO that is tank level controlling. Okay. So first of all we are going to see tank level control based on the timer means timer based level control. So this is our first tank in which we are going to see this example. So what is the next possible thing? So we are going to see on off control by capacitive sensor means controlling the level of tank by the capacitive sensors. Previously it was based on time here based on capacitive sensors. So this was the on off control by capacitive sensors. Now third examples that we are going to see in this mini series is analog level sensor control. Here you can see there is level meter. So you can set any level that is this is 0 to 300 centimeters. So from this control panel you can set any desired level and this process will control the level of tank up to that. You can set the level by potentiometer. So that is this one analog level sensor control. So here this is simple on off controller. Same thing we are going to see in PID level control which is a very interesting topic for all of the students. So we will see how we can control tank with PID controller in Siemens TIA portal and factory IO. And similarly like in all the examples we control the level of the tank. In this last example we will see the flow control. How we can control the flow with TIA portal and the factory IO. So all of this things are not possible in the one video. So today we will understand the first project that is the time based level control. Okay. So this is our today's first control. So before starting, so you might be thinking how I brought all this. There is nothing like hard or a difficult task. Just you have to go here and uh, from here go to stations and just drag and drop like this and everything will be come to you. You can rotate it by pressing Y and it will become like this. Now what I have changed over here, uh, you have to click over it and right click and in the configuration I have selected digital mode because our first three examples are in digital mode. Okay. So right now I am just deleting this. So when I will right click over here, you can see in the configuration it is in digital mode. This is very essential before starting the programming configuration of everything. Okay. Now you can see control panel. So that we can see from here operators. So similarly you can drag and drop everything and uh, rotate with Y. You can uh, move it in vertical direction by pressing V on the keypad and you can move in vertical direction. So this is the whole things I have shown you in the previous videos. So what I have done first, I brought this station and change its configuration to digital. Okay. Then I brought this operator panel and only three things that I have brought over here is start button, reset button and one digital display which I renamed as timer. How you can rename this? So that also I have shown in the previous videos. You can click on the tag. Okay. And then by clicking like this, you can change the name of anything. Okay. So this is my tank zero. Okay. This is my tank zero. We have total five tanks. This is my tank zero. So this is my start button zero, reset button zero and one timer. Okay. I'm not going to enter time from here. Time will be given from programming only. But we can see the value of time over here. How much time is remaining or how much time has elapsed like that. Okay. So quickly we are going, going to see its programming because there is nothing much in the factory IO designing side. Okay. 
the designing is completed. Just drag and drop four objects and configuration I have shown to you. Yes, uh, important thing in the digital display also we have to configure it. So click right click and I have configured it as integer. Okay. Uh, so these are the necessary settings for this timer based level control. So what I have done, uh, I assume that you already know how to create project in Siemens TIA portal and how to copy paste the sample factory IO file and uh, write the text and all. If you don't know this, you can watch our previous videos or if you know, we can quickly start it like. So this is my programming. I am going to show you step by step, explain you the each network. There is nothing just what I have done. First of all, what we do in every project, we copy paste the sample function block for connecting it to factory IO. Then we write PLC tags like this. You scroll down in the PLC tags. You go to default tag table and we write our necessary tags, input output tags. And then what uh, you have to compile function block main ob. Then we can click on download button. But before downloading, you must have opened your PLC simulator and start simulator from here. After that, download from here. Click on go online button. So and then click on monitor button. So you will see like this. There will be green indicators over here, and you will reach to this step. Okay. So these are the quickly I have given idea about what I have done and uh, about the ladder I'm going to explain you right now. After that you have to go to file drivers and you, you you have to click on connect button so you will be connected to TIA portal and you will see this green tick mark. Now I have to connect input output over here. So this is my tank number zero. So start button zero I have programmed this input 0.0, .0. and so these two are buttons from tank 0 okay now in the output so what is our output is the filling valve so because i configured this as a digital so i can connect over here if it is analog we have to connect over here so this is the valve okay uh, let me show you here this is tank fill valve if i turn it on it will start filling our tank that is our output simple output uh, what else uh, i am going to do you uh, what else i am going to do is uh, we want to show timer okay so uh, let me see from programming at uh, what address we have connected uh, the timer so it is uh, you can see over here md30 and then i have connect divided and qd30 so i will explain you later right now just we have to connect this at the QD30. So that is our. So here it is time. I named this timer and we will connect it to QD30. Okay. So this is all our required input and outputs. And now I will glow one indicator. So that is take one indicator when the tank is filled. Okay. So here in the programming, I have taken 10 seconds to fill. Uh, this 10. So here in the programming, I have taken tank should fill for 10 seconds. Now we can start simulation and I will minimize this so that we can see ladder programming also. So first of all, here is the just latching circuit. As soon as I will press the start button, this bit will be latched and if I press reset button, it will be unlatched. So I hope no need to explain this. So let us go to the next network start timer. Okay. Uh, understand these two networks simultaneously. As soon as I will press this button, M0 will start this on delay timer until the timing is not completed. So I have taken the NC bit of the timer. So when the system is on and timing is not completed, then filling valve will turn on. And when the timing is completed, this bit will be gone. So this valve will turn off. Okay, let me show you. So right now, timing is not completed and system is on. So our filling valve is on. Okay, here you can see timing value. Now timing is completed. So 
can see this indicator I have connected over here Q0.1 that is you can see over here when the timing is completed so this is giving indication to us that timing is completed now what what we can do if you want to feel for another 10 seconds when I will press this reset button this will turn off so what will happen timer will be resetted so let me show you so you can see timer is resetted now you can see 10 over here but when I will start again it will start from 0 and it will feel for another 10 seconds so each time we press this uh, reset and start it will feel for 10 seconds so this is the simple logic now till there is furthermore networks I required because I cannot show timer directly the timer value okay let me show you over here uh, this elapsed time I have moved to MD30 this is in milliseconds so 10 seconds will be shown as 1000 so I have to divide it with 100 or say 1000 and that is shown in milliseconds so 10 seconds will be like 10,000 milliseconds so I have to divide timer elapsed time with 1000 so I have taken division function how you can get that so you have to click over here okay, right now we are in the programming mode so we can't see that I will show you later okay so first of all let us discharge this water okay so we can do this manually okay, we are discharging the water by forcefully turning on this discharge valve so that last time we will see the whole programming again and we will end this topic from this we can assume that in the 10 second it is filling up to this so in 30 seconds it will fill whole tank so let us see that let's say this is enough so I will release this first I will press the reset button and then again start it ok I forgot to change the time but I hope you can understand so whenever we press the start button it will fill for 10 seconds when the timing is completed it will turn off the valve and this division is for converting millisecond into seconds ok so this was the simple time based level control if you want more water just increase the time ok in the next video we are going to see this example that is tank level control based on this capacitive sensors it will automatically turn on and turn off and maintain the level of the tank this we will see in the next video ok so right now let me show you how I got this so go offline thing that you don't find so you just have to click over here and from here we will see all the instruction like bit logic so you can see all set reset positive triggering negative triggering you can get from here after that this is the math so go to math and I got this divide function from here just drag and drop and you will get your block like this you have to drag and drop and click on the green mark and your block will come to here ok so right now I am just deleting this in this way I got this and timer that you can get from here T1 timer you drag and drop and get the timer so this was all about the programming if you like this video show your interest by liking and subscribing meet you in the next video with another interesting example